everyone, my name is Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another sophisticated Saturday and we're gonna be working through my to-do list, getting things done around the house. I have a lot of laundry, some cleaning, cooking, including a freezer meal because I know you guys love those recipes so much. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. Let's go. Started out like a movie scene, something straight out of a magazine. The first thing I do on any day after I get dressed and ready is go back into my bedroom and make my bed. I do usually like to get dressed and ready for the day first and then head back into my bedroom and make my bed. Once the bed is made, I head to the laundry to put a load in to get it started. So this morning I actually put in a load of my cleaning towels, which I like to do once a week already. And now I'm just going to toss in a load of my dark workout clothes. While my workout clothes are in the wash, I'm on to my carrot muffins. And I'm using a recipe from Cookie and Kate that I've linked in the description box below that I've actually used before. It's a relatively healthy recipe. It has Greek yogurt in it, no refined sugars. So I'm actually using honey, but you can also use maple syrup. I'm using coconut oil, or you can even use olive oil. And of course, even though the recipe doesn't call for it, I have tossed in some chocolate chips just to make them a little extra sweet. So they're not quite as healthy as the original recipe. The reason I chose to make carrot cake muffins this weekend was because I had so many leftover carrots and I didn't want them to go bad. So I decided to try and find a recipe to repurpose them. And who doesn't love carrot muffins? I thought I handled this so well I know we had the right intentions But somehow it came to an end I was looking for a remedy Last time I made these, I actually grated all of the carrots by hand, and that was a complete mistake. It took me forever. So this time I'm just using my food processor. So after they've been peeled, I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces so it's a little bit easier for the food processor and toss them in in two batches. All alone, never know, can you home? I get unstable, I get unstable. Remember the first time I met you? Oh, 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 oh,
push you back. I hold you close. chocolate chips and you can see I start by actually measuring them and then decide what the heck and toss the whole container of chocolate chips in. baking muffins I don't like to use cupcake liners so I'm just using this pan that's meant for baking and it makes it super easy for my muffins to pop right out when I'm done. those two first trays at a time just because if I put one more tray in below it the cooking times vary and it's a little bit easier for me to monitor when I have them all at the same level. Now that the first batch of muffins are in I'm gonna clean up the kitchen while they cook and this kitchen clean is just a quick pickup because I have one more recipe that I'm gonna make today. I'm moving, make sure we get through this. Let's just keep on dancing as one. You and me are moving, make sure we get through this, let's just keep on dancing as one.
After a quick switch of the laundry, the muffins are done, and all I do to make sure my muffins are completely cooked through is I take a toothpick and stick it in the middle of several of the muffins and make sure when I pull it out, it comes out clean and there's no batter on the toothpick. Next up, I'm dusting off my bookshelf and my entertainment unit, and I am definitely guilty of not dusting my home enough. I don't know who else out there feels like they should probably do a little bit more dusting, but this is one of the reasons that it's so important to simplify your life and your space in every way possible, because it makes cleaning so much easier when you own less. So something like a bookshelf, I can really tell how long it takes to take each individual item off, clean it off of dust, and then clean the bookshelf and return it back to the shelf. The last batch of muffins are done, so I'm gonna take them out and set them on the countertop to cool completely before I put them away. While they cool, I'm just gonna go fold my dark laundry. While I was cooking and cleaning and folding my laundry today, I was actually just watching the last few episodes of a show, Big Little Lies, that I think actually premiered a few years ago, and I was loving it and completely engrossed in the last two episodes. So if you guys have any recommendations for which show I should binge watch next, make sure to leave a comment below.
I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside. Writing down all the things that I miss. And in the letters you take form. No, I won't go back tonight. With the habits of the restless me. I'm leaving all. I do get lots of questions about file folding and the Marie Kondo method of folding and whether that's something that people should adopt. And I switched over maybe a couple of years ago and absolutely love it. The only thing to be aware of when you're folding that way is if your drawers aren't completely full, that sometimes things do tend to kind of flop over a little bit. But if you fold properly, nice and tight, things should stay upright for the most part. I'm just putting half of the muffins in a Pyrex glass container to leave out on the countertop for us to eat over the next few days. And the rest of them I'm gonna put into a Ziploc baggie just to stick in the freezer for easy breakfasts or snacks. And all you need to do with frozen muffins is just take them out of the Ziploc bag, stick them in the microwave for 30 or 60 seconds, and they are perfect. Father, oh, doing things that drove a man The other thing that I'm cooking today is a jalapeno popper chicken casserole and I'm making this as a freezer meal just because I've been loving having freezer meals on hand right now. And this is a new one that I haven't tried before. It seemed pretty easy. I happen to have all of the ingredients on hand so it seemed like a no brainer. I want to say that I'm sorry. And I left you in the cold I've seen your side of the story I felt the drawback My mistake took its toll Finally I have realized I was dead wrong I wasn't thinking straight
after the chicken and pasta have cooked, it's on to the sauce. And this is the reason I wanted to make this recipe so badly, is it just sounded so decadent and delicious. Once I added in the pasta, you could just tell how cheesy and creamy it looked and I had to do everything in my power to not eat it all then and to put it in the freezer. With the pasta in the casserole dish, I'm just topping with breadcrumbs and then some more jalapenos on top. And if you've never tried adding breadcrumbs on one of your pasta bakes, it adds such a nice texture and a little bit of a finishing touch. So if you ever make mac and cheese, I would definitely suggest you try putting it into a casserole dish with a little bit of breadcrumbs on top, maybe some bacon or something like that, sticking it in the oven for a little bit, and then putting it on the broil setting just to toast it. Now I'm done cooking for the day, so I need to empty the clean dishes out of the dishwasher and wash the dishes in the sink, stick them in the dishwasher, and run it one last time. So hold on to me, baby, hold on.
needs to breathe. You can see whenever I sit down to fold my laundry, I first like to categorize my laundry. That makes folding so much easier for me. So I make a pile of all of my pants, all of my tops, all of my jackets, in this case, all of my sports bras. And then when I go to fold pants, I know I keep folding the same way over and over and over again. And then I move on to my tops and I fold the same way over and over and over again. And it just makes it a little bit easier on my brain and easier to put away. I'm starting with the worst category, which is always my sports bras, just because they usually have some pads or liners in them and they get so tangled in the washing machine. And while lingerie bags sometimes help to keep those in place, it never quite works out for me. So I don't usually use them and just have to suffer through fixing those pads every single time. So much for joining me today. We got a lot of stuff done off of my to-do list, a lot of laundry, some cleaning, like I said. Um, my freezer meal is probably done cooling, so I'm gonna stick that in the freezer now. But if you guys like this type of video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, always click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.